上個星期，聯邦政府發布嘅秋季經濟報告遭到多國嘅反對黨猛烈批評，咁指赤字長期係居高不下，民生問題亦都係日益嚴重。而面對目前嘅局面，各大政黨又有咩嘅解決方案呢？喺今日嘅政論中話，我哋專訪咗聯邦保守黨黨領博利治，我哋聽下佢對税收、房屋同埋能源政策方面嘅見解。随住联邦政府发布二零二三年嘅秋季经济报告，保守党党领博礼治喺下议院中批评自由党政府令物价飙升、租金上涨，又增加市民嘅债务等。博礼治表示，自己一旦执政，将会计划以民生议题为优先。My common sense plan will axe the tax to lower fuel, heat, and food prices. I'll cap spending and cut waste to balance the budget, so we can bring down inflation and interest rates. And I'll remove the bureaucracy, so we can build millions of homes that are affordable. Bolizzi 强调自己会令国民用更加少嘅钱获得更多资源。佢承诺将会允许本国出口天然气，为液化天然气设施创造数百亿元嘅投资。降低入息税，協助勞工階層應對通脹。而就房屋問題，佢表示會以明確嘅獎罰制度鼓勵城市建房。And it brings homes we can afford by requiring cities to permit 15% more home building per year or lose federal money. But those that beat my target will get a building bonus. 而就房屋審批速度緩慢嘅問題，佢就話會以強硬嘅手段對待無法達標嘅政府部門。I'll require Ottawa bureaucrats at the CMHC approve financing for new affordable apartments in 60 days rather than in two years. If they don't, they'll be fired. That's how we're going to get apartments built on time and on budget so that our young people and our seniors can afford a roof overhead. 而隨住大量嘅移民人口嚟到本國，就有關海外資歷認證同埋就業嘅問題。博麗治提議加設考核制度，吸引更多嘅專業人士嚟到本國定居。And with a new blood, a blue seal exam that allows immigrant professionals to take a test, prove they're qualified, and get to work as doctors, nurses, and other high-paid professionals. 聽完博麗治嘅展述，咁究竟佢嘅承諾係一張張空頭支票？定係一份可以實踐嘅藍圖咧？相信選民心目中都會有自己嘅答案。好啦，今日嘅政論中環就講到呢度